Now distracted driving causes more than 3,000 deadly traffic crashes every year, and new drivers are at the highest risk. But are laws requiring drivers to put those devices away actually saving lives? It's a good question. Tanisha Godell joins us live with the results of a new study coming out of Columbus. Good morning, Tanisha. Good morning. Good thing I've got an answer for you. So Nationwide Children's Hospital is actually behind that study. And yes, they found uh, some of those hands free cell phone laws are doing their jobs. They're really helping uh, lower the deaths and injuries that we're seeing on the roads, but others mm, maybe not so much. Convincing drivers to put their phones away behind the wheel has always proved to be a tough task. But laws enforcing the issue are making a difference. And a new study just released by Nationwide Children's Hospital researchers proves it. Dr. Motel's Jew, a principal investigator of the study, says his team examined drivers of all ages. We know states have various types of cell phone laws. Then we wanted to explore this issue and we analyzed traffic deaths in the United States from 99 through 2016. Their work showing only laws banning all handheld cell phone use while driving prevents nearly 14,000 injuries and 140 driver deaths every year in the U.S. The problem is these laws are only in place in 21 states and Ohio is not one of them. We share a common goal to help pass a stronger law in Ohio. Ohio currently has the texting only ban and it's a secondary enforcement. Ohio's texting and driving law first went into effect in 2013. It doesn't cover watching videos, surfing the net, or using any apps, including GPS. The study finding these kinds of laws are harder to enforce and result in lower compliance. They don't have the same life saving benefits. Laws like Ohio's are also expensive. Distracted driving related crashes across the state add up to about $1.2 billion every year. That's equal to more than $2,300 every minute. Gotta say that's a lot of money going out, right? So now Governor DeWine actually earlier this year proposed to strengthen our state's uh, distracted driving laws, but guess what? It didn't make the cut. Uh, those changes were not added uh, into the transportation budget for the state. Danita? Well, Tanisha, what kind of distracted driving numbers are law enforcement here in Ohio seeing? Yeah, so you remember when we were on lockdown, all right, locked up and, you know, feeling good, I guess, kind of in the pandemic traffic and drivers, you know, all that was down about 50%. And still, Ohio state troopers saw about a 10% jump in distracted driving citations. Now, here's the thing, though. Ohio is one of just four states where distracted driving is not a primary offense. So under state law, police have to have another reason to pull uh, drivers over, like uh, you're talking speeding, not wearing a seat belt or anything like that before they are able to issue any type of citation for distracted driving.